Hey friends, it is a joy for me to welcome you again to our devotional series as we closely look at the armor of God for believers. Now since we are fighting against the treacherous, invisible, and powerful enemies in the spirit world, we need special equipment both for offense and defense. And the good thing is that God has provided the whole armor or the full armor for us, and we dare not omit any part as we go about living for him. Remember, scripture says that Satan roams about like a roaring lion, looking for that unguarded area where he can make a beachhead or gain a foothold. See, last time in looking at the first part of verse 14 of Ephesians 6, we talked about the belt of truth. We saw that the belt on the soldier's armor, although a seemingly insignificant piece, was actually one of the most important pieces. We could say that the belt was the foundational piece or the unifying piece of the armor. But although the belt is so important, you cannot go into battle with nothing but your belt on. Although it is, a f it is foundational, it doesn't provide much protection. All it does is to keep the rest of the armor in place. For protection, you need the other uh, pieces of armor. Now let's read together then in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14 and think about and reflect on the second piece of the armor. Paul writes, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. Here let's look then how the breastplate was used on the soldier, how it is to be used for us as Christians in spiritual battle. And then I'll conclude by talking about how we can put it on for battle on a daily basis. You see, the breastplate was a piece of armor made of strips of metal plates or chains. It covered the body from neck to waist, both front and back. Now, no Roman soldier really entered the battle without one of those pieces, showing how important this piece was. Today, it can be compared to a bulletproof vest which protects the vital organs like heart and lungs. If either of these were affected or injured in battle, the soldier is as good as dead. So the breastplate really was obviously very important. So with that in mind, then let's move on to see how the spiritual breastplate is to be used for the Christian in spiritual battle. To begin with, remember that putting on the belt of truth is putting on the word of God by studying it, reading it, learning. Putting on the belt of truth is knowing what God's word says. It is gaining a knowledge of the Bible. Now, since that is the case, the breastplate of righteousness, which is attached to the belt, simply means applying the truth of the Bible to our lives. You see, there is a difference, a major difference really, between understanding the truth and living the truth. There is a difference between head knowledge and heart knowledge. There is a difference between being able to recite verses and list Bible facts and actually living or applying those verses and Bible facts to your life. Now, do you remember the Pharisees? Now, these, they were Bible scholars, man. They were experts of the law. Most of them had the entire Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible, memorized. They knew the history of Israel forward and backward. They prayed and sang the Psalms. They could recite passages from the prophets. And if you were living at that time and observing them, you... You, you would really be amazed at how much they knew of the law, but also how obedient they were to it. But guess what? It was only an outward obedience. It never made it to the heart. And because of this, Jesus reserved some of his most scaling rebukes for them. You can read some of these uh, in Matthew chapter 23. But just to give you some of them, you know, in, in that passage, uh, Jesus would say about the Pharisees, they were outwardly righteous. They appeared righteous to others. 
they had all the right words and all the right actions and all the right behaviors. But Jesus was saying about them, doesn't matter what you look like on the outside. What do you look like on the inside? What does your heart look like? And that is really what the breastplate is for, to get the truth of God, not just stripped around us, not just so we can quote scriptures, but to get the truth of God inside us, to protect our vital organs from damage, to know scripture and to live it out. The breastplate is applying God's truth to our lives so that rather than living in sin, we can live holy lives, righteous before God. Now, let me ask you, do you really want to protect yourself from sin? Do you want to protect your heart from sin? You need to have on the breastplate of righteousness, which then bring us then to the third point. How can you, as a Christian, really then put this on a daily basis? Well, just like the belt of truth, we must understand, first of all, that the breastplate of righteousness is God's. When we put it on, it is his armor we are putting on. You see, in Isaiah 57, um, verse 17, we read that God wears righteousness as a breastplate. In Isaiah, and in Isaiah 59, there, Scripture reveals that this righteousness is not positional imputed righteousness that God gives to all believers at the moment of believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Instead, it is the practical day-to-day -day righteousness that God expects and desires all Christians to live by. It is living the holy life on a daily basis. Just as the actual breastplate on a soldier protects the heart, the lungs, and other vital organs, so the breastplate of righteousness the practical holiness of life lived in obedience to God is what really protects the heart of a Christian. Um, H.A. Ironside, a Bible commentator and teacher, observes and says this, the breastplate covers the heart of a man, and when we think of the heart, we think of the conscience. In other words, to wear the breastplate of righteousness, we have to protect our heart which is the center of who we are by keeping our conscience pure. So then how do you really maintain purity in your life? Well, first of all, it builds on the belt of truth. We looked at it last time. As you dig daily in the word of God, and as you feed your spirit upon the truth of scriptures, you'll come across passages which convict you of sin in your life. In such situation, I would say, take a moment Confess your sin and repent, remembering that God is good. And when we confess our wrongdoings, he is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But also, after confession, appropriate God's forgiveness. In other words, believe God and take him at his word. Faithful is he who has promised and he will bring it to completion, says the Apostle Paul. And then, Live in the light of the victory Christ has accomplished for you at the cross. This is how you put on the breastplate. This is how you wear the breastplate of righteousness. You see, friends, God has given us his righteousness to wear, but we put it on by taking off the filth clothes stained with sin and chains wrapped tight around us. We do this through confession purification, and repentance. And when we get the breastplate of righteousness on, when we get it firmly in place, it becomes much easier to protect our hearts. Only in this way will you protect your life from the deadly and the suffocating consequences of sin. So then, like a true soldiers of the cross, with our bulletproof vest on, let us stand ready to stop the fiery darts that the evil shoots our way. May God be with you as you stand firm in him. God bless you.